So before we start with uh, what how to simulate the scrambler concept by using MATLAB, we will under, we will try to understand what exactly scramblers are and uh, where exactly we people are using scrambler and a scrambler operations. Uh, actually, when we people are doing a, a bit synchronization concept, there was one problem associated with bit synchronization that whenever there are continuous occurrences of zeros and ones. At that time, it will be very difficult for bit synchronization to happen between transmitter and receiver. At that time, to randomize the continuous occurrences of zeros and ones, uh, a concept called as scrambling was introduced. And uh, what exactly it will do? It will convert a continuous occurrences of zeros and ones into uh, a randomized bit of uh, zeros and ones so that a synchronization can be achieved very well. Okay, So one of the uh, disadvantage of ZCD bit bit synchronization is uh, it, it, it will be very difficult to synchronize if there is a continuous occurrences of zero then. OK, how it can be solved and how, how a scrambler can be designed so you can uh, think here. I'll be going with pointer. Just a second. So this is a scrambler diagram. It includes a shift register having four flip flops and there are some XOR operations and this XOR operations is uh, it can be taken as per the design aspect. OK, anyone can use any any set of any uh, any two or three set of uh, uh, register input for this XOR operation and it is a designer aspect. OK, even uh, even an examiner can also give you different uh, uh, scrambler diagram also no issue with that. OK, fine. So right now we are having four flip flops in a shift register and two XOR operations. You can observe here. This is my incoming message bit and it is XOR with M1 and this M1 is an XOR between R4 and R3 and this output of this XOR between M1 and M is my scrambled information that is jumped. OK, now we will see how it can be uh, simulated. So you see here there is a first instruction in MATLAB CLC which can clear the command window and clear all will clear the command window and workspace. Close all will close all the back running files and is equal to input enter the message bit. So OK, L is equal to input length of the shift register. OK, right now for my experiment. So we are having four shift registers. OK, fine. So four flip flops. OK, fine. R is equal to zeros of one comma L. What does it implies? All the four shift registers are assigned with initially zero value. OK, and right now this for loop, what exactly it will do? It will perform the XOR operation. OK, so that XOR operations can be done as per this diagram. Initially, there will be an XOR between R4 and R3 and which will result it into M1. You can observe here. So M1 of I is equal to XOR between R3 comma R4. OK, so that's the same thing. R3 comma R4 XOR is my M1. Next M2 of I means this one. M2 of I is an XOR between M1, M of I and M1 of I. So that's what here. The XOR between M of I and M1 of I. Then R4 is equal to R3. So what exactly it is doing here? So the shift register containers are uh, shifting. As the clock is applied, shift register containers are shifting. R3 is aligned with R4. R2 is assigned to R3. R1 is assigned to R2. And M2 of I is assigned to R1. So the same thing is happening. R4 is equal to R3, R3 is equal to R2, R2 is equal to R1, R1 is equal to M2 of I, and I am ending the content. So in, in M2, I am having the scrambled information. So this is a scrambling process. Now we will see how the descrambling can be done. Please keep that in mind. Scrambling will be done at at transmitter end and this scrambling, this descrambling will be done at the receiver end as a part of which M2 is my input to the descrambler and it is given to R1, R2, R3, R4 like this. So this is a inverse operation, inverse operation what we have done in the transmitter. See here these two once again XOR and this output whatever you have, sorry, input whatever we received is XOR with X1. So this is a descrambler diagram. So how to implement this? 
so to implement this in a uh, matlab once again what we will be having r equal to zeros of 1 comma l what exactly this meaning uh, once again all the shift register values i am initializing by using r by using zeros i'm using this instruction r is equal to zeros of 1 comma l and now my for loop will run for what can anyone for loop will run for all the m2 bits right so that's what for i for i is equal to 1 to length of m2 x1 of i so you can observe here x1 of i is equal to x4 between r3 and r4 so that's what it is x1 of i is x or between r3 and r4 x of i is an x or between m2 of i and x of i see this is my x right x of i is an x or between m2 of i and x1 of i so that is what it is happening here and after that all the shift registers content has to be shifted r1 is to be placed at r2 r2 is placed at r3 and r3 placed at r4 and m2 of i is placed at r1 so the same things are happening here so r4 is assigned with r3 r3 is assigned with r2 r2 is assigned with r1 r1 is assigned with m2 of i and then end so at the end this is the part of the scrambling operation at the end what i supposed to observe i supposed to observe what is message signal i supposed to observe what is scramble signal and what is the d scrambler in uh, bit sequence right so so we will observe the same thing uh, with respect to our code okay so i will use octave software to see whether the output is correct or not so you can observe here so the same code actually in uh, our practical we had like uh, display m display x like that but it is better to go for m m2 and x so i am taking that okay fine so the same code what we have seen right now so that is there here you can observe this is a transmitter and this is a receiver and content and this is my input this is my Scram, uh, scrambled output this is my descrambled output so if i run this code you can observe uh, and here you please uh, make make a note that uh, we are having um, like how to enter the data and how to see the data so that that is to be clear for you guys so as a part of which i'll be running this okay by uh, after running this i'll be getting output in the command window of octave so you can observe here in the command window it is asking for something like uh, enter the matrix bit streams so that entry i already stated you you supposed to take that in a see i am taking continuous occurrences of once okay after one space you supposed to take it fine so i'll be closing it and i'll be entering the number of flip flops shift registers required so usually i used to take four okay so you see here m is my input right so the whatever i enter the same input is coming and m2 is my scrambled information you can see here there is the alteration of zeros and ones here see and x is should be same as that of my input whether it is working properly one two three four five six one two three four five six yes one two three four five one two three four five fine so m and x are both same so this is what how we can uh, simulate by using matlab how can we simulate a scrambler by using matlab okay thank you for your your patient listening if any doubt you please comment okay so